It goes without saying that the popular business television show Shark Tank is a fun and educational way to see how investors think. Well, our sponsor, the Another Bite Podcast, is here each week to delve deeper into Shark Tank episodes, helping entrepreneurs like you by offering their own unique thoughts, spin-off companies, critiques, and even talking with some of the folks who pitch to the sharks and live to tell the tale. From squatty potties to mench on a bench and even that weird golf club you use as a toilet, which has definitely been my favorite episode so far, I do highly recommend that one. Another Bite takes a fresh look at some of your favorite episodes and answers what these entrepreneurs are up to now. It's an amazing show for getting a more in-depth look at how businesses are built. And no matter where you are in your journey of work or business ownership, you can be sure you'll walk away with a fresh perspective. So listen to Another Bite, brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, wherever you get your podcasts. This episode is brought to you by Vital Farms. Isn't it bullshit to have to question where your food comes from? At Vital Farms, you can trace your pasture-raised eggs all the way back to the source, the pasture. On the side of each pasture-raised carton of eggs, you'll find the name of the farm where your eggs were laid. And when you look the farm up on their website, you'll get a peek at all the sunshine, fresh air, and open space the hens enjoy. Learn more and find out where to buy them at vitalfarms.com. Vital Farms, keeping it bullshit free. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1173, Uplevel Your Culture, by Christine Comaford of smarttribesinstitute.com. And hey again, I am Dan, and welcome to the Sunday edition of Optimal Work Daily, where I read to you from these great blogs on entrepreneurship, work, productivity, and so much more. So let's get to it now as we hear from Christine and optimize your life. Uplevel Your Culture by Christine Comaford of smarttribesinstitute.com. In today's workforce, there is an increasing gap in human interaction and connection. In fact, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce recently wrote about the need for businesses to implement, quote, peer groups for community interaction, end quote, as a huge growth opportunity. Let's consider how focusing on human relationships and considering employee needs could help you uplevel your culture. As leaders, it's common for us to consider technology, automation, process, and strategy when we think about growth opportunities. But how often do we stop and think about our team's ability to connect with others? How do we tune in to their need to feel emotionally supported and seen in the workplace? If the honest truth is that you haven't thought much about peer connection opportunities, then your team's emotional experience is likely suffering. Having seen hundreds of businesses and employees throughout my career, I know that an emotionally struggling team is never operating from a smart state. And if your team isn't in a smart state, they are in their critter state, and that's not good. What do they want? Well, the three main factors are safety, belonging, and mattering. Let's take a look at what those mean and what it looks like when they aren't met. Along the way, consider how addressing these three factors could help you uplevel your culture. Uplevel your culture with safety. Safety is a key ingredient and it's highly connected to peer relationships and communication. For example, if it's been lacking, your team members are showing up at work and operating out of their critter state. This means they'll take safety away from others in order to try and create more of it for themselves. Consider an employee spreading rumors about other peers, constantly starting gossip, or generally spreading a feeling of dissatisfaction and fear it is likely that they are dealing with insecurity and a lack of feeling safe. Because their inside world is stressed, anxious, and fearful, they are literally creating that same feeling in their outside world. Uplevel your culture with belonging. Belonging is also vital. People want to believe they can show up and be seen and accepted. If they don't feel that this is the case in their place of work, they have a tendency to withdraw. If you've ever felt frustrated because an employee withheld important information, only communicated to a select few individuals, or even isolated themselves from the whole team, you've had an employee in critter state dealing with the crisis of not belonging. Once again, they will take their internal world, where they feel isolated, alone, and unheard, and recreate that feeling in their external environment. Because they don't believe they belong, they will, in effect, leave the tribe of their own accord. Uplevel your culture with mattering. Mattering is key in a productive workplace. If you consider the idea of people recreating their inner environment in their outer world, 
What do you think someone who feels they don't matter will do in the workplace? Odds are good they'll be condescending, put others down, and generally create a no-win situation. Basically, they'll try to impress on everyone else that they don't matter either. Yikes. Their world makes the most sense to them if internal and external realities match up, which means if they don't matter, then no one matters. Creating change. When culture coaching, I love using the SBM behavior decoder to help leaders get to the heart of what's happening in their organizations. This handy decoder is perfect for helping leaders understand the heart behind the behaviors they are seeing in their organizations. It's also great for assessing yourself. Leaders who are lacking in safety, belonging, and mattering can wreak havoc in their teams. If your tribe would benefit from an increase in safety, belonging, or mattering, there is no time to waste. You can start turning things around by finding ways to meet employee needs, process behaviors, and shift into smart states across the board. The net-net. Everyone in the world craves something. When you find out what your team needs and then find a way to provide it, you help them out of critter state. That frees them up to enter a smart state. Once in smart state, people can operate from a place of strength rather than a place of stress and fear. Smart state is where you'll find true rapport, connection, alignment, enrollment, and engagement. As you realize those needs and create an environment that meets them, you'll also experience higher levels of performance, collaboration, and sustainability. At the end of the day, the best way to uplevel your culture and increase growth is to make sure your employees' needs are met. You just listened to the post titled Uplevel Your Culture by Christine Comaford of smarttribesinstitute.com. You want consistency and quality, but you also want variety and freshness. If you run a business, you want it all. With nuts.com, you can get so many different delicious snacks and ingredients and know that they will consistently exceed your expectations. Nuts.com is your one-stop shop for the highest quality foods for business. They offer delicious office snacks, corporate gifts, and wholesale ingredients. And over 50,000 companies choose Nuts.com for their business needs, from offices to hotels to restaurants and retail stores. And we've even loved their product as remote workers. Nuts.com has sent us plenty of snacks that keep us energized and focused so we can deliver the best work that we can. Nuts.com makes ordering for your business quick and easy. Right now, Nuts.com is offering new business customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $125 or more at Nuts.com slash OWD. So go check out all the delicious options at Nuts.com slash OWD. You'll get that free gift and free shipping when you spend $125 or more. That's Nuts.com slash OWD. Your business is buried in manual work taking forever to close the books. If this is you, consider three numbers, 37,000, 25, 1. 37,000, that's the number of businesses which have upgraded to NetSuite by Oracle. 25, NetSuite turns 25 this year. That's 25 years of helping businesses do more with less, close their books in days, not weeks, and drive down costs. One, because your business is one of a kind so you get a customized solution for all of your KPIs in one efficient system with one source of truth. Manage risk, get reliable forecasts, and improve margins. NetSuite is giving you the power of having all your information in one place, helping you to make better, more driven decisions as a business owner. Everything you need to grow, all in one place. And you really can't put a price on the power and efficiency that comes with having all of your processes streamlined like this. This is truly an unprecedented offer. Right now, download NetSuite's popular KPI checklist, designed to give you consistently excellent performance, absolutely free at netsuite.com startup. That's netsuite.com startup to get your own KPI checklist, netsuite.com startup. And thank you to Christine for today's post. For over 30 years now, leadership and culture coach, serial entrepreneur, and New York Times bestselling author Christine Comaford has helped leaders navigate growth and change. She specializes in applied neuroscience, which helps her clients achieve tremendous results in record time. As an entrepreneur, she built and sold five companies with an average ROI of 700% 
and she was a software engineer back in the early days of Microsoft and Apple. Christine is a human behavior expert, a leadership columnist for Forbes.com, and the New York Times bestselling author of Power Your Tribe, Smart Tribes, and Rules for Renegades. And you can come by smarttribesinstitute.com to learn so much more and check out all of their great resources. But that wraps up our weekend editions of Optimal Work Daily. I hope you enjoyed them and that you're having a great day out there. Keep on optimizing, and I'll be back again with you tomorrow, where your optimal life awaits.